Well, back in, back in 2005, uh, I had just started at the Bell Tower Theater, and the Bell Tower Theater was relatively new. We didn't open until 2003. So we were looking for some more events to supplement the plays that we did. We only have a 170-seat theater, so bringing things in is usually not economically feasible for us. And, but this seemed like the perfect thing. And lo and behold, we sell out two shows a year now for 10, 11 years. We're actually to the point now that for the most part, we don't even have to spend money advertising. With a little bit of give a couple tickets away on the radio or you know, a little website, all the social media stuff, we can pretty much sell out a show without spending hardly anything at all. And, uh, and of course, we do a great bar. The really cool thing for us is they can perform on just about any set that we have. We just pull a black curtain across the back and move whatever furniture or whatever stuff is movable, which means it's, we can do it anytime and without any work at all. Here's the really cool thing, is it's not necessarily our regular audience. And that's part of the reason we like Guys and Tides, because it draws in a lot of people who don't normally come to the Bell Tower Theater. Uh, it's a little bit younger crowd for us, which we love. A show will typically have from high schoolers to senior citizens. The show is different every time and is so funny. We have people who have been to 10 or more of their performances. I would encourage any of my counterparts at other theaters, particularly small theaters. This is, a, this is a, uh, an event that works really well in a 150 to 250 to 300 size house. Uh, the intimacy of that makes the show, I think, even better. And take the risk, try it once, and I think you'll be very happy.